The intelligent investor is a realist who sells to optimists and buys from pessimists. An investment operation is one which, upon thorough analysis, promises safety of principle and an adequate return. Operations not meeting these requirements are speculative. In the short run, the market is a voting machine. But in the long run, it is a weighing machine. But investing isn't about beating others at their game. It's about controlling yourself at your own game. Those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. The stock investor is neither right or wrong because others agreed or disagreed with him. He is right because his facts and analysis are right. Obvious prospects for physical growth in a business do not translate into obvious profits for investors. People who invest make money for themselves. People who speculate make money for their brokers. The punches you miss are the ones that wear you out. Boxing trainer Angelo Dundee. On the other hand, investing is a unique kind of casino. One where you cannot lose in the end, so long as you play only by the rules that put the odds squarely in your favor. Buy cheap and sell dear. As the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard noted, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. If the reason people invest is to make money, then in seeking advice, they are asking others to tell them how to make money. That idea has some element of novet. Americans are getting stronger. 20 years ago, it took two people to carry $10 worth of groceries. Today, a five-year-old can do it. Any young men. The investment world, nevertheless has enough liars, cheaters, and thieves to keep Satan. Check-in clerks frantically busy for decades to come. While enthusiasm may be necessary for great accomplishments elsewhere, on Wall Street, it almost invariably leads to disaster. A stock is not just a ticker symbol or an electronic blip. It is an ownership interest in an actual business with an underlying value. That does not depend on its share price. Invest. Only if you would be comfortable owning a stock. Even if you had no way. Of knowing its daily share price. You've got to be careful. If you don't know where you're going, cause you might not get there. Yogi Berra. With every new wave of optimism or pessimism, we are ready to abandon history and time-tested principles, but we cling tenaciously and unquestioningly to our prejudices.